we've got our AR-15 set up. We just did a just a quick paracord on the bottom of the magazine so we can just hang it pretty much anywhere we want and we have quick access. Makes it real easy just to grab off and you have the magazine. Move the lock. Rifle comes off. Bolt is always to the rear. Magazine comes in and with swift motion, you know, insert the magazine, hit the bolt release. It's right where near the front door. The good thing also is it's concealed. People will just walk by it and not even know that it's there. But it is locked up until you put the code in. Depending on where you want to set up a rifle in your house, depending on your situation, this is one option. Uh, you can also set it up in your bedroom, in your closet, behind the clothes. Uh, just depends on where you want it, but it's good to have options. Let's talk about some of the features for the Arma 15. The first thing is, is on the all of the locking points, it has quarter inch steel. Um, the actual locking pin is also quarter inch. Everything's spring loaded, both the lock pin and the hinge on the lock bar. Some people may not see initially how this works, but what's going on inside there is your locking pin is going up inside of the hole of this lock bar and allows it to lock. The Arma 15 can also serve as just a AR-15 mount to where you can hold it there in the unlocked position and you don't have to put any kind of padlock and it'll it'll hold it in place there using the magazine catch. And what, what you have is on the back of the magazine block on the Arma 15 you have a uh, a cut, a relief cut there, and that's the same way that your magazines, when your magazine's inserted into your rifle, uh, the reason your magazine doesn't fall out is because of that magazine catch. Um, so every time you want to remove it, you need to engage that, but that holds it there in place and secure. And also, a secondary feature with that magazine uh, does, especially when it's in vehicle or if it's uh, going against gravity, if your rifle is uh, in a peculiar position to where it could be moving around, um, again this doesn't really apply to your home, then it prevents the rifle from being shifted up and touching any of the steel on the Arma 15. So it effectively uh, does that, that purpose. We've had a customer, uh, we even have a, a video that you can check out on YouTube on our channel that where a customer was in a severe collision and they showed the basically a good torture test of the Arma 15 and showed that it didn't damage the rifle even under very adverse conditions which ended up uh, totaling the car, bending the frame of the car and rifle was fine, Arma 15 was fine, everything worked great on there and so uh, plastic block does that. Uh, the second thing is is let's say if you are in California and you are using a, a bullet button then there's going to be regulation to where you basically have to take your rifle apart to take it off then if you wish if your rifle if it's in a horizontal fashion and your rifle is going left to right then you could effectively delete this by filling it with some epoxy, some JB Weld, um, or any kind of hard thing and then sand it down if you wish to do that modification. We will have uh, some kind of an update in the future for California folks that specifically have the bullet button uh, upgrade on their, on their rifles. But for most people that won't apply. The one on the bottom is protecting it from the bolt uh, going forward. So I'm going to go ahead and release the bolt and show you. It doesn't do anything to your bolt. Uh, it's, it's basically just going into a piece of plastic. So you have that. You also have blocking your chamber, a uh, again, a, a piece of ABS plastic there. So nobody can put junk or stuff inside of there. It also reduces uh, the ability for dirt and dust and stuff to go inside of your chamber as well. Uh, I'm going to show you a dime here just for reference. It is a 3 inch lag screw. Hardware that comes with the Arma 15 for home installation. Uh, you're going to get basically two of these screws and once these screws are installed it's over 3400 pounds of pull force that's required to rip it out of the stud. These screws 
were specifically designed for the Arma 15. We couldn't find anything on the market and I get really frustrated when I see companies that build a very solid product and then just totally skimp out on the hardware. So we didn't do that. We built this from the ground up specifically. So starting from the end, we'll look at, um, you can see the tip on it, uh, means that you don't have to drill a pilot hole, self-drilling. It has extremely large threads on it. That helps us with the pull force. It makes it very hard to try to rip it out of the wall. Moving up to the head of the lag screw, you're gonna see that it's a round head, so you can't get any kind of a pliers around the head or uh, vice grips or anything like that to get in it. Another thing to note uh, on the Arma 15 design is once the rifle is installed on the Arma 15, there's not any clearance to put in any kind of a tools or anything behind the rifle uh, to get the bolt off. So that was part of the design in the Arma 15, and this screw fits right along in with that. One of the great advantages of the Arma 15 is the flexibility option to have different locks depending on whatever you're doing. Let's say I'm going out of town for the weekend or the week, and I want just maximum security. Then I can, I can upgrade locks than what I normally use to this hidden shackle lock. Let me show you just how this works. There's a shackle that's internal and totally hidden once it's in place. Okay, and you take the key out and I can go about my way. Now, I'm not using this actively for self-defense. I know a lot of people, oh, that, that lock's gonna take too long to get off. Well, I'm not using it for that in this purpose. Okay, if I wanted a quick access lock, then then I can, I can take this one off when I get home and put on the lock that I want. Okay, so if I want quick access, go ahead and put on a quick access lock and I'll show you how this one works. So this master lock, which is normally about 10 bucks, you can get at your local hardware store. It works off of directional movement. So it's something I can do in about a second, I can get this lock open. And you can do anywhere from two movements to 12 movements. For just demonstration purposes only, I'm doing two movements that was up and down. Okay, then the lock opens. Then once you take it off, you have access to your rifle. All of the negative things that I've seen about this locks as far as Amazon reviews and things such like that is they don't have, uh, they haven't adjusted to the learning curve of this lock. And what I'm talking about is if you understand how it works, then it's, it's a great lock. If you don't understand how it works, then it'll never work for you. So you have to realize that when you do your movements, you have to do full movements all the way up, all the way down, and it'll open every single time. Also, you have to take your thumb off of the control button for it to open. I have to let it go off and then it goes to center and then now it will open. One of the great features of this master lock is that you can set the directional movement to whatever you want. It can go up and down, it can go left, left, right. That'd be a three directional movement. But you get the, the idea. If you want to do a eight direction old Nintendo cheat code or something like that, you can put that in there. You can do it as complex or as simple as you want. And one of the greatest features about this lock is speed and something that you can do one-handed in the dark. These are just gonna be the top two locks that we have at this time. Uh, we've played around with a dozen different locks and we're going to have a YouTube video specifically talking about locks. So if you wanna know more about lock, go ahead and, and uh, check out that video and subscribe and you'll see it when it comes out. Okay, so now we're gonna go through the more detailed step-by-step -step instructions. The first thing you need to do is locate a stud uh, where, where it is on the wall, and then once you find the stud, you're gonna be test fitting uh, both 
what direction do you want the rifle to point? Do you want the barrel pointed up like as in this one? You can also have the barrel pointed to the right. You can also have the barrel pointed down, whichever you prefer. The third thing is, is we're just basically gonna go ahead and drill it into the wall. And we'll show you how to do those step by step. Okay, so we're gonna go over some of the tools that you need to mount the Arma 15 to the wall. Uh, the first thing you're gonna need is obviously the Arma 15 kit. And with that will come two lag screws that'll look just like this. Okay, and also you'll get a torch bit that'll look like that. So you'll need those items. You'll also need an adjustable wrench or a quarter inch wrench will work as well. And a pencil. You also need a magnet or a quality stud finder. We're using rare earth magnets here instead of a stud finder. And you also need a level or a very good eyeball check for level. All right, so we're gonna show you the rare earth magnet technique. Some rare earth magnets you can get at your local hardware store, or you can even get them online. Once you get your rare earth magnet and your string, you're gonna use a piece of tape or glue and just attach those two things together like we did here. And once you get that attached, then you can use it to go in the general area. And what you're looking for is it's gonna find a nail. And once it finds it, it'll click, okay? Now, so what I like to do is just use multiple magnets and just I just go ahead and take one of the multi-pack that we have, set it there, and then go find another. So you wanna draw a kind of a line and have some different reference points rather than just one area. If I wanna do lower or higher, I, I can then, if I have another one up here, then I can draw a line and then put it somewhere in the middle there. And if you are drawing, I would say go ahead and use a pencil because that way you can erase it off and not a pen or a marker. Okay, so the other step, really easy with a stud finder. Like I said, if you get one of these, get quality ones. If you if you do get a real cheapo, a lot of times they're, they're totally useless and don't end up finding the studs. They're unreliable and then you end up marking a lot of holes. So if you are going to go this route, go ahead and get a good one. Uh, don't doesn't have to be this brand, but like I said, just get one of the better quality ones. Um, with these, all you do is hold the button down and you're going to scan, you know, with one thing. And it'll tell you, it'll light up and say where the edge is. And when it comes up on that edge, you're just going to take your pencil and you're going to, you know, mark in that one. It'll also tell you a center point. You can mark that as well and keep going and it'll show you the other edge. Okay. So once you've marked up all of those locations, you have some reference points to mount. All right, so in this part, we're gonna go ahead and test fit. And this is the most important part of it. For this base, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have it going barrel up. But if you wanted to have the barrel going, pointing to the right, it'd be like that. Or you can also have barrel pointed down. Those are your three options, up, down, or right. Um, all of them work really well and aren't gonna interfere with the rifle. It just depends on your application. For this one, we're gonna Put it here, which is in an uh, easeway, and we're going to throw a jacket over it to, to conceal it. So spend a lot of time test fitting it, getting exactly where you want. Uh, we've already located the stud, uh, and just try to find the exact height, and then also barrel width, and realize it coming up and off, and the lock coming off, um, making it usable height for you and whoever else might be accessing the rifle. Okay, we're gonna be talking about mounting options for the Arma 15, and we just disassembled this completely so that way uh, you can see it for demonstration purposes. Do not remove the magazine block when you're doing that. It's totally not necessary. In fact, that's actually tightened and Loctited and aligned exactly the way it should be coming from the factory, and if you remove, remove that, it might cause you some problems. So try not to ever move that. So I'm gonna show you uh, first the horizontal mount and when you do that you're going to install the screw on the wall and you can see our installation video for that but you're going to install your screw on the wall and you basically use the back spacing of either three quarters or you can just grab the arm of 15 and just do a little bit less than that and once it's installed on the wall you you'll slide it up into the uppermost position in that keyhole and then you'll have to put the torx bit behind it and then tighten the torx bit. The second second screw, once that's already on the wall, will just go right in the top there. And you just screw it all the way down in. And that's with your barrel uh, pointing to the right. 
So if you wanted the barrel pointed uh, in the down position, then the tab will be pointed up and the keyhole will still be used and you'll still dr drill it with the same backspacing. The only difference is you're going to slide this all the way up and then tighten it that way. And the position of your second screw will be in this top, top tab here. Uh, this hole won't be used for anything for a vertical mount. If you want the barrel um, facing up, the tab will be pointing down and it's again the same thing. You'll put it in, slide it down, and then your second screw will be in the bottom there. All right, as I said, we're gonna be pointing this in the tab down, which is gonna give us a barrel up. And make sure you don't throw your pencil on the floor because you step on it and break it and it looks just like this one. Uh, so once you get your pencil, you're gonna go ahead and mark your top hole. Okay, you can see we got it here on a level and it is a uh, level. And you still take your still very broken pencil and mark your level. And we're gonna go ahead and drill that last screw. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and move into screwing it onto the wall using our lag screw. And all of this stuff is supplied. You'll actually get two of these screws. We're only gonna be doing one at a time. So th this first one that we're gonna be working with, you'll have the screw and your supplied bit that comes in the kit. And you do not have to do pilot holes. Some people like to do them anyway, but the screw is designed to where you don't have to. until you get to the arm of 15 on this one you're not going to be drilling it all the way down you want to you can use your arm of 15 or you can actually just use three quarters we're going to use the arm of 15 since we have it here laying around and that will give us the proper back spacing so now when we go to mount it on we have the proper back spacing and we're going to go over and then down just like that so this is keyhole on the back to where you can do straight up and down if you want the barrel pointing to the right like that um, if you want it pointed barrel up then this tab will be pointed down then you just rotate it this way and it'll go like that if you wanted if you wanted the barrel in the opposite meaning barrel down then you just go like that and the tab will be pointed up okay so really your second screw is going to determine and you can even uh, have it there and kind of play around with it but you really want to have the height figured out okay so you're gonna go ahead and take your adjustable wrench or you can do use a quarter inch wrench if you have one but uh, we're gonna be using an adjustable wrench and you're gonna go ahead and set the bit into the screw And it should only be a half turn or uh, may, may even only be a quarter turn, depending on how close you set it in there. Now you don't want to over tighten it, but you do want it pretty snug. And right there as it is, it's, it's relatively snug on the wall. But I do have it level, so I can go up with my final screw and I know it's not gonna move. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drill the final screw. Okay, so now we're gonna move into drilling it to the screw, uh, drill it to the screw. You like that? Yeah. And you want it to where it just flies off like that. That's how you know you got it good and tight. Please subscribe to videos as they come out and be alerted when they come out. We also have giveaways for the Arma 15 as we hit certain milestones on our YouTube subscriber channel. Okay, so now we're gonna mount your AR-15 to the wall. What is so funny? Nothing. Well, why are you laughing? I'm just giggling. Ooh, you like giggling little schoolgirl. Let's do it right, come on. Uh, we're also gonna have more DIY videos, install videos. It's also a thumb exerciser. Work out your thumb. You have little baby thumbs, you need this.
Do it. Buy it. Do it now. All right. If you haven't already bought an Arma 15, you can go to, you can do so at our website. That's arma15.com. You'll see the link right here in this top box. Vehicle installs and for home installs, just like we did here, we're going to have magazine mounting options. We're going to do a video just based on locks. That's going to be down here at the bottom.